Okay, so we're going to finish up the rest of the frame. And let's go ahead and start with the window. I'd like you to select one of your studs and then click on the top of it so that it will allow you to adjust the height. And windows have to have the bottom of the window, I believe it is three feet above the adjacent floor. So I'd like you to type in three, enter, and that's according to the international building codes if you're wondering. And that's going to be the low placement of our window sill. I would like you to select the XYZ axes and then click on the center and I want you to move it over such that it is on the corner of the stud because we're about to draw on it and the X has to be facing the direction that we're drawing in, the X and the Y. So I'm going to click on the X and rotate it over to this side over here and click on it there. So you can see the X and the Y are facing the direction that I want to draw on. Okay, so I don't really know if we have to do that or not. You can check, but uh, let's use that. And now I'm going to use the rectangle tool, REC, enter. And I'm going to click the end of that, and I'm going to draw out a rectangle that connects to this wall. Just like that. Press escape a few times. I'm going to select the rectangle, click on this top point, and I'm on the wrong dimension, so I'm going to press space until I'm on the right one, which is that one. And I want this just to be a couple inches, so 0.17, enter. And I'm going to do the same with the other one and type in 0.17 as well. Okay, so you should be looking at something that looks like this. Uh, go ahead, click on the rectangle, click on that end. I want you to stretch it out over to that stud over there. And then if we rotate it and take a look at it, yeah, it should look like that. Okay. Let's extrude that out, and we're just going to extrude it out the 4 inches. So 4 inches is 0 0.34, uh, enter, and then specify that this actually belongs to the wall system. Okay, that's looking pretty decent. Let's go ahead and add the top of our window now. So this is going to be a little trickier, but let's go ahead and give it a shot, see what happens. Uh, I'd like you to select this and use the copy tool, enter. Um, whoops, and I specified the wrong point, so let me try copy again, select this, enter, uh, and then click on one of the corners. And then I want you to go up with this point. I guess it really depends how tall do you want this window. So I'm going to say, let's just make it three feet or so, or roughly three feet. So 3.17 to factor in the two inches uh, based on how I'm drawing. So a three foot window, uh, that's gonna be the top of the window or the header. So I'm going to just increase the size of that. Um, and usually, and let's increase it to, let's just say, this would be a two by six probably or two by four. So let's just increase it by, I don't know, 0 0.34, enter. Uh, so it looks something like that. And there is additional adjustments we can do to it, uh, but we're just going to kind of keep it like that, just due to time. And let's add in a couple more uh, studs on the top here. So I would like you to select your XYZ and just move it up to this point, let's say, uh, and then make sure the X and the Y are facing the same direction or the direction you want them to be. And we're going to draw out a rectangle, REC, enter. Uh, and I want you to make sure that you are on this surface. And I want you to draw out a rectangle going from one point to the other, like that. Uh, whoops. Flip over to the view where you can see it vertically. And then select it. It's a lot of work, right? <laughs> if it lets you select it. Okay, I'm going to turn off my wall system for a second uh, because it's just trying to select it. Okay. And let's just make sure that we have the correct dimensions. So click there. And that's 0.34, so that's fine. But the other line is 0.25, and we want these to be 0.25. 
one seven. So I'll enter uh, and the same with this point as well. Point one seven. And I press tab to cycle through those. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and turn back on our wall system. Whoops, let me make sure I'm on that and then turn the wall system back on. And let's uh, use the move tool to select this and then uh, click on this point. We're going to move it over to the wall first. Okay. And then we're going to space these apart and let's space them apart every 16 inches or so. We're just going to have two, I guess, over here. Uh, so let's move this one first. From here, and I'm going to move it, let's say roughly uh, 16 inches. So one point three four feet. So roughly there. Then I'm going to use the copy tool to select that, enter, and then copy another one, roughly 1.34 feet. Okay, so ideally these should be, you know, well balanced with these two and they're slightly off. So I'm going to select both of these and use the move tool and I'm just going to click on, I can click on any point, so I'm just going to click here. I'm just going to move them slightly. It's not going to be exact, but just try to get them uh, symmetrical. So maybe something like that. And then let's go ahead, extrude these out. So that one, as well as that one, enter. We're going to extrude them out to this height of the other studs. So I'm going to select that as my endpoint. Uh, press escape twice, select both of them, and then make sure that they are part of the wall system like that. Okay, so there we go. We have a window opening. So let's go ahead and finish up our door. And what we need to do is create a very similar header system for our door. And let's just see if we can use this one as it'll save us some time. I'd like you to use the copy tool, enter, uh, select these three objects, uh, enter. And then I want you to specify a point like this corner point. And I want you to kind of rotate and then move this away from your shed so that it's kind of out here in space. Now, when you rotate, you rotate along the Z axis. So if I try to rotate this right now, it's going to be facing the wrong direction. So I'm going to actually select this and move my Z axis to be facing this edge. Okay, and let me think about that for a second. Um, I don't think I want it facing that edge, actually. I think I want it facing uh, upward or vertically. So that edge. Okay, yeah. So if I rotated it, it would spin along the blue line. So that's good. Uh, select these three parts again. Type in the command rotate. Enter. And then I want you to look at it from a top-down view. So I'm going to look at it from the top down. Straight at, at it like that. Uh, select one of the corners. I'm going to select this corner. And awesome. It should let you rotate it. If it doesn't, you might need to press number 90 and press enter. Uh, but if I click there, press escape twice, and take a look at that, it's now on a different plane. And this is actually a difference from AutoCAD to Inventor, because in Inventor, you can't really do that. But in AutoCAD, it's really easy to do. Okay, so things are looking good. We just need to move this into place. So I'm going to use the Move tool, Enter, select these three objects, Enter, and let's see if I can just move it there right away. So it looks like there might be some limitations, but I'm going to try to place it in the doorway and then take a look and see how it turned out. Okay, so it turned out pretty good. Just needs some adjusting, so that's perfectly fine. Uh, I'd just like you to select, you know, the extrusion. And uh, it appears like it doesn't want me to adjust the extrusion amount. But don't panic. We can fix that. Uh, what I'd like you to do is let go of the solid, hold down the, what is it, the control key, I believe, and then it should allow you to select just this surface. And when it did that, it should have formed a red dot in the center, and you should be able to see that. 
click on that red dot, and then it should allow you to retract the extrusion. So I'm going to retract it all the way to this wall and click there. Uh, and that's something that Inventor doesn't let you do as well. It's a lot easier to adjust the extrusions. And then we're going to just reposition these two on the top. So I'm going to use the Move tool, Enter, and select this line and just move them along, Enter, so that they're kind of better placed. OK, so that's looking really good. The last thing we need is the top of our frame. Instead of making that from scratch, let's just use the one that we have. So use the Copy tool, Enter, select your frame. And then press Enter, and we're just going to move it from the bottom corner. Okay, it wouldn't let me select the very bottom, so I guess I'll select here. Over to the top. Like that. Okay, press Escape a few times. And we're just going to adjust one of these extrusions since we don't really need both right now. So let me delete this one. Oops. This one. And then I'm just going to extend out the other one. So select that. Um, hold down control, I mean. Click on that one. See that red dot. Click that red dot. And then you're just going to bring it out to the edge of this wall. Okay, check that out. Looking pretty sweet. Okay, that's good. Take a break, and I'll see you for the next part. Peace.